aka the principal painter and this evening I am coming at you. Marlon is a very sneaky husband. Um, those mystery boxes from Diamond Art Club came out and I was going to pass on them. I was like, you know what, we've got Christmas, we've got all this stuff we're doing and I was going to pass on it. Well, Christmas morning I woke up to guess what I got you. He got me my mystery box. I got to give props to the man behind the camera. He's he's pretty cool, dude. He puts up with all my shenanigans, my craziness, videos, all of my videos, and then did that for me on Christmas morning. To say I was surprised is an understatement. Well, I want to show you what I got in that mystery box. I got some really great stuff. So let's head to the painter dining room table and I'll show you what I got. See you there. All right, we are at the painter dining room table. As you can all see, the setup is very different than what I normally do. I have prepped everything. I've got three diamond paintings to show you. So I'm gonna tell you right now, this is going to be a Cliff's Notes version of an unboxing. It's already unboxed, it's out. I've done my homework, I've cut up. So you could, we're just going to take a quick glance at all three of these paintings. It's not gonna be like a detailed unboxing. So if you are new, go back and um, watch some of my other Diamond Art Club sneak peek videos for a more thorough unboxing. This is going to be just a quick glance. I'm not gonna hold up the drills, show you all that. Um, I'll lay out the color palette uh, as we get to it. I also do have the specialty drills for each painting ready to go and I'll show you where those are and then we're moving on. So I've got three canvases to show you and you don't wanna be here for 12 hours. So let's get into this. The first painting I got is Spider-Man. What is this? Spider-Man and Friends, Spider-Man and Friends. Now, here's my deal on mystery boxes. I am not a Marvel person, I'm just not. And that's okay because guess what? This is a mystery box. You don't know what you're going to get. So, if you get something in your mystery box that isn't your jam, the other two are very much my jam, I love the next two, um, maybe I can trade with someone, or maybe someone has a child that I can give this to and say, hey, have them try out diamond painting. There's always something you can do, but in a mystery box, it's a mystery. You don't know what you're going to get. So, um, you run the risk of maybe having something that's a little bit different and maybe you'll find something that is your taste. I am not a Marvel person. I, I don't hate Marvel. I'm, it's just not my jam. So um, this I will probably give to a friend or someone that has a child that might want it. Um, but anyway, this is Spider-Man and Friends. It, all three of my kits that I got in my mystery uh, box are square kits. So for this first one, I'm going to show you the entire toolkit. Um, and tell you a little bit more about it. But the next two, we're not gonna go over the toolkit. I'm just gonna show you what cover minder I got, the color of pen, and the washi tape. Here's your toolkit bag. I got this, um, it's a really nature colored uh, washi tape. You get a good bit of it. I got a gray rose cover minder, very pretty. And I got a green pen and a squishy. These are the things that are different in your toolkits, as you all know. I did get tweezers in all three of these toolkits because they are square kits. Remember, tweezers come in square kits and square kits alone. They're very nice branded tweezers. And the rest, your wax, two pads of it, your bags, two multi-placers, and a boat. All right, so that's the toolkit. Like I said, this is the Cliff's Notes version. If you want detail, this is not the video for you. You want to see the canvases anyway. All right, Spider-Man and Friends. Here's your sticker sheet. Uh, in this one, I have four ABs. Count them four ABs. No specialty drills from um, the uh, key on the sticker sheet. Larger image. It's really a cute one. Uh, again, all I know is Spider-Man. Who is this, Marlon? Do you know who this is? Do you know any of these characters? I don't know who that is. Is that Flash? Is that no, the Flash? That's Spider-Man. That's another... Is that another Spider-Man, maybe? I don't... See, I'm not a... I am that's not... That's him with the... He's that's got like him. suit on or something. I'm, I'm not sure. I can't this kind of looks him. like the Flash. I don't know. That no, looks that's like... that's not the Flash. Oh, okay. That looks like some evil person, and there's two more people in the back. I don't know who they are either. But, again... Oh, that's... Is that Spider-Man and like, the multiverse or something? So there's possibly. different different versions of Spider-Man and yeah. different... Um, like you know, or, or, or uh, multiverse is whatever they call it. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. See, he knows more about Marvel than I do. There's your logbook sticker. 
in each kit, you also get an information pamphlet, all kinds of good information in here. Uh, before you un, before you take this canvas out, you get a dust bag, nice uh, branded dust bag, and the drills come labeled in a bag that says Spider-Man and Friends, so you can happily reunite your drills. Okay, so here are the drill colors in this kit. Here are your specialty drills, your AB drills, 107, 129, 141. So you got, you got four ABs, but you don't have any... Um, fairy dust or anything in this particular kit, but pretty, pretty uh, ABs. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Special coating put on the top of the drills. That makes them shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer. Just a little bit more. So you got a red, you got a uh, lemon yellow, light lemon yellow, a mint green, and a white 141. So those are your ABs. Here is the color palette. I'm just gonna pull, I've cut these apart because I had to cut out some of, um, the ABs and everything to have those separate to show you where they go in the painting. But here are is your color palette for this particular one. I'm wondering, oh, well, this may go in some, uh, I guess the um, the red possibly in Spider-Man's uniform. I'm not sure. But then you've got little bits of 407, 702, and 819. Like I said, this is a Cliff's Notes version. So there is your color palette, okay? You kind of get the gist of the colors in it. Let me flip it over. I'm gonna keep the specialty drills. Y'all, if I keep this all straight, Marlon's gonna owe me dinner. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Okay, so this is all going on the floor. Let me flip this bad boy over. So this is what this one looks like. Again, Spider-Man and Friends. You know who those two are up there now that they're a little bit bigger, Marlon? Any clue? I have no idea. Put it in the comments who you think it is. This looks to be a bad guy down here. I'm not sure who that is. Any clue? Oh, well. Okay, those of you, I know you Marvel people are sitting there going, Kara, it's so-and-so. Kara, I know, it's so-and-so. I swear that looks like the Flash, but maybe it's not. Okay, so you got 107, which is the symbol one. You're gonna get ones in Spidey's, Spidey's uh, uniform or Spidey's um, outfit here. You got some in this guy's outfit. Uh, some in here. I don't know who I... Again, these creatures, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, your two is 125. This is that mint green AB. That is going to be the number two. Is that gonna be up? Yep, that's gonna be up in this moon in the background up here. Um, anywhere else. I feel really weird doing it like this because I feel like I'm just breezing over stuff, but you just wanna see the canvases anyway. 141, that white is a dot, uh, a white background with a black dot. It's in this evil guy's eyes, highlighting his arm or her arm, the hat. It's in Spider-Man's eyes. It's in these folks back here. There are little stars back here in the background. All of that is that uh, AB, AB in the moon, AB kind of highlighting this lightning that's going on underneath this guy here. On this guy's uniform looks to be some sort of weapon on his back that's the white a b and here um i think okay wait uh 129 that's that lemon yellow that's got to be yep that's going to be highlighting this lightning bolt right here okay so that is my first painting from the mystery box again this is spider-man and friends uh diamond art club is licensed with marvel to bring you this one Okay, moving on to painting number two. It gets more and more colorful and this one does not disappoint. Okay, so we've already talked about the dust bag and um, the drill bag. Toolkit, um, what I got in this particular toolkit, another um, brownish, rustish uh, roll of washi tape, I got a Cute little dolphin. I'm sorry, did I did I share with you what I got in the first? Oh well, too late. Anyhow, <laughs> you want to see the canvas anyway. But um, little blue dolphin cover minder. Okay, I got a raspberry pen and squishy. Also, again, those tweezers because all of these are square kits. Now, ooh, another thing that I didn't tell you that's quite interesting is on the first one on Spider Man. Um, is this perforated paper? No, 
Spider-Man is not perforated paper. So that one, it does not have the new perforated paper, uh, just for your information. Okay, again, thank you pamphlet. We've already talked about that. That's going down here. What did I get? I love this one. Love it. Jeremiah Kettner, dreaming of a better tomorrow. Would you look at those pinks? Look, look, look at those pinks. Oh my gosh. And look at this color palette already laid out. This one has 63 colors. It has two ABs and one, two, three fairy dust diamonds. That is gorgeous. Wait till you see the rendering on it too. You're speaking my language with these colors. I mean, oh my goodness. Here is your logbook sticker. Look at this color palette. All right, these are my specialty drills. I will tell you where these go. These are your fairy dust colors. You got a purple. You have got a kind of a yellowish cream color and a uh, light, light seafoam green. Uh, remember, uh, fairy dust drills are those drills with glitter or mica powder encased in the drill that gives them a little bit more of a subtle shine. And you've got two ABs. 127 and 120. Um, this is a special coating that shim, shim, shimmy shimmers. Um, you can see it on this blue a little bit better. So those are the drills that I will keep to the side and share where they go momentarily. Here's the color palette on this one. Look at these gorgeous colors. Looky, looky, loo, seriously. Again, guys, when you get these, I've seen a lot of people posting where, uh, what they're getting in their mystery boxes, and it's very different from mine. Um, all of them have been actually very different. I haven't seen Spider-Man in any of them. I think I'm the first Spider-Man that I've seen. Maybe you guys have gotten a Spider-Man one. Can I put some up here? Can they still see it if I put them up here, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at this. It looks like a candy store. Again, I love it when a color palette looks like a candy store. That is absolutely beautiful. All right, you ready to see it? I know you are. All right, these drills are gonna go down on the other side so I can clear that off. I don't have to clear the last one off because we'll turn off the camera and then I can clean up the gigantic mess that I'm making all over the place. All right, I'm gonna keep my special drills handy. Look at this image. <gasps> I love it. I just am in love with it. Look at her pigtails. Look, she's got my mother, Marlon and I, um, I don't know if many of you know this, Marlon and I met in second grade. My mother used to put my hair in pigtails just like this. And then she cut my hair short, which I don't know why she was torturing me. I look terrible with short hair, but look at this sweet little girl and she's sleeping in flowers. And again, this is called Dreaming of a Better Tomorrow. It is by Jeremiah Kettner. I don't have any of Jeremiah Kettner's pieces, but I love this one. Just the colors are beautiful and the cat sleeping on her. Oh my gosh. This one does have the perforated paper. Just calling your attention to that. Um, let me share with you where these where these go. Okay, I've got my fairy, I have three fairy dust and two ABs. Let's start with the ABs. Uh, the first AB is going to be your beautiful, vibrant blue. You've got quite a bit of it. It is the number one. You're going to get it in the flowers here, here, here in the background. It's highlighting the background. Anywhere you see light blue is going to be that AB. Uh, I think that is it, but there's a lot of it in the flowers and in the background up here. Your next AB is 127. That is gonna be the number two. That's that light peachy pink. There's not much of it. Is it in her face? I don't see it. You know what? It's highlighting the cat's ears. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Anywhere else, it might just be highlighting the cat's ears. I don't see any in her skin. There's some in the center of this flower. Um, anywhere else. Again, there's not a whole lot of it at all. I think that's, uh, and I see this, this entire flower is, uh, this too. So I think that's where you're going to get most, a good bit of it. All right. Heading down to our fairy dust drills. You've got this beautiful purple fairy dust. That's a U-turn symbol. I'm going to tell you that U-turn symbol is in this background, the light purple in the background. 
Um, I don't see any in her little eyeshadow. Uh, it's going to be all purple sprinkled throughout this background. Oh my gosh, I love the colors in this one so much. I don't see any of the purple in her dress. It all appears to be in the background, just pop in the background a little bit. So that is going to be beautiful. The next um, fairy dust drill is this beautiful, like bluish seafoam green, a light turquoise Z598. That is a division sign. And there, there's a good bit of it too. Is that going to be in the background as well? Okay. There's a lot of it up here, up here in the top of this background. It's all throughout the top of this background. I don't see any on her. I'm looking in the flowers. In her dress. I'm sorry, I missed some twos in her dress. There's one little star in her dress. I'm sorry, two stars in her dress that have the number two, which is that 127. This AB. Um, but a this U-turn, excuse me, this uh, division sign seems to be all throughout the background up here. Kind of looks to be a watercolor background up here, and that's where this one goes. I don't see any down here. All right, and our last special drill is that Z3855. It's a, I call it a sideways blob. It's kind of a, a, a an elongated oval going sideways. That's gonna be in these flower, this flower, this flower, outlining this flower, in this flower, in this flower. Um, any in, nope, I don't see any in the background. So it seems to be highlighting these few flowers right here. Uh, it's in this flower as well. All the, out, all the light yellow outlining here and all the highlight in the, in the middle of this flower here. That's where it appears to go. So that is, and I am so sorry, I keep missing her dress. There are little stars on her dress down here at the bottom. This, uh, there are four stars with this particular fairy dust drill in them. I love this one. Again, I've never done a Jeremiah Kettner, so I'm excited for this one. Thank you so much, honey. This was such a fun surprise. I had no clue. And he told me and I said, oh my God, I told everybody I'm not getting the mystery box. And I did, and I can't believe it. So yeah, dreaming of a better tomorrow, Jeremiah Kettner. Okay. Let's move our last painting down here. Kara's going to have to stand up and go down and get it. That's okay. Like I said, this is going to be a Cliff's Notes version. For those of you that are like, I can't see the drills. You didn't show them close. It, that's, not, that's not this kind of video. Just wanted everyone to see what was included. Okay. And again, that uh, the particular paper on the one I just showed, this one, uh, Dreaming of a Better Tomorrow, this does have the new perforated paper, meaning there are perforations in the cover paper that you can tear to section off and uh, pull off a section at a time to do the diamond painting. All right. Oh, this one is so fun. This one is Christine. It is a Hannah Lynn. Um, I've seen a couple of new Hannah Lynn's. I hadn't seen this one before. A lot of people are posting what they got in their mystery box on the um, Diamond Art Club VIP Facebook group. If you've not joined that group and you've made a purchase from Diamond Art Club, join that group. You can see all kinds of pictures. People are posting now what they're getting in these mystery boxes, which is so much fun to see. She is awesome. She has a macaw that's kind of got his head his head tucked looking at her, but you'll see a bigger um, image of that. This one's a 45 by 62, so it's not a big one. Tool kit, this is a square, again, so you get the tweezers. This is my washi tape, right? Seafoam green with a little flower pattern. I got a pink pen and squishy, and I got a macaron cover minder. So that's what we care about in the tool kit, right guys? Um, here is your, my logbook sticker. I do like these colors. They're so pretty. Again, information pamphlet, um, all of your canvases when you, before you unroll them, when you take them out of the box, um, they do come, uh, in a dust bag that I've taken it out of just to save time. And here is your sticker sheet. Look at that bigger image. Is that not beautiful? Hannah Lynn always gets me with the colors. They're fantastic. Okay, so we have got uh, three ABs. Any number on this sticker sheet under the number 150 is an AB. 
Um, so you've got 122, which is a pretty turquoise, a gold, and a green, 135. And then you have one, uh, one fairy dust. And I have those down here. So let me move those. So do I have three ABs here and one fairy dust? I sure do. All right, not a lot of them, but I'm gonna leave them off to the side. Here is your color palette. I'm just gonna lay these out so you can get a gist of what's happening here. Again, in the name of time. Again, these drills do come in a labeled bag in case you store your drills separately. I have taken them out and I have cut them up into sections, which makes them kind of easier to lay out and for you to see. You can't see a million trains. Look at all this 310. I tell you right now, there are 10 bags of 310, but this is a Hannah Lynn. You know you're gonna get a lot of 310 in a Hannah Lynn. So those of you new, 310 is a black, uh, the color black. So that is your beautiful color palette. You know it is going to pop like no other. Ugh. I love these greens I'm seeing. They're so pretty. Vibrant. Okay, you ready to see her? I am ready to see her. I'm ready to see her as I'm knocking the box off. And I'm just gonna leave these on the table. I'm knocking the sticker sheet over and everything else. Okay. That's okay, you wanna see this canvas. Look at her, look at her. I'm loving the tattoo on her arm. Oh my gosh, she's got a hibiscus in her hair and look at this large macaw. It is beautiful, oh, and he matches her lips and oh, it's just all coordinated. I'm loving this though. That is kind of an extra edgy vibe to this one. This one is called Christine. It's a 45.1 by 62.7 centimeter with 48 colors. Okay, let's get into this AB and fairy dust drill placement. Um, your first AB is 122. Not a lot to write home about. That's how much is in there. Um, AB, shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer, coating on the drills that capture facets of light and color. That particular AB is a one in this painting. Yep, I knew it. She's got one in her eyes. There's one in her hair, highlighting some of her hair. There can't be much more of it because there's so little of this color. So you're gonna get it in her eyes and some highlighting in her hair. Okay, the next day B is 131. That is this yellow, golden yellow. That is the symbol two. Symbol two, you're gonna get them in the macaws feathers. You're gonna get him in, in uh, the area around his eye. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so pretty. Some twos up here. I don't know if that's part of the hibiscus flower that's in her hair. She's got what looks to be a barrette in her hair and there are twos there. So that's where those uh, are going to go. Again, not too much of that. All right, then you've got 135 and that is the symbol three. Again, not much of it, just a little bit, okay? That is the symbol three. Again, it's going in those macaws feathers. It's going right here uh, on the head of the macaw. I'm not sure if that is a strand. I think that's a, maybe a strand of her hair that's blown over the macaw, but that's where it is. Um, any threes up here? I don't see any, no. I don't see any more threes in her eyes. So that's where that goes. So um, yeah, that's where that 135 is gonna go essentially in the macaw's feathers down here and in that strand of hair that's kind of blown over him. There's some right here, highlighting in her hair. Okay, that is that. Then you have got, okay, so we did 122, 130, uh, 130, did I do 135? Yes, I did. Okay, down to our fairy dust. This is the last one. This is throwing me off my game, guys, because this is so different than I usually do, but I wanted to make sure that you saw all three of them. This is your last specialty drill. It is Z907. Z907 is like a no sign, like a no smoking sign. That is gonna be in the macaw's eye. It is going to be down here in a little bit of the background. She's got it in her hair. It's highlighting her hair all through here, up here in her hair. And I think that is all she wrote. This wisp right here is all highlighting that wisp as well. It's not, she doesn't have any in her eyes. But the macaw is going to get a lot of AB and fairy dust love. I love that. And then there's some in this little highlight of her hair as well. So 
That's what I got, folks. That's what I got in my mystery box. I hope you liked this little impromptu unboxing. So we've got our beautiful Hannah Lynn Christine. I got Dreaming of a Better Tomorrow. Come on up here, Spidey. I may not be a Marvel fan, but that's okay. And Spider-Man. So Marlon, thank you so much for my Christmas gift. I just love it. And um, this was so much fun to open and figure out what I got. And that's the fun of mystery boxes. You don't know what you're getting and uh, you get to figure it out. So. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.